in the run up to this tournament, uh, can you tell us a bit about the preparations uh, that you guys went under? We started off in uh, November, I think. Um, the boys got together for a couple of weekends then, and then we trained indoors for the winter, um, which was good. Bowlers and batters working on different things uh, in different sessions, and then we come together once a week on a Sunday. Um, and then before we had a good build up to the tournament, we had a couple of games in uh, Holland. So we played Holland A team, and then the Seafarers and the Hurricanes, their two sides, which is brilliant. That was great. And, Great, we played at VRA, which is beautiful, and that they were fantastic to us in Holland. And so that was a good weekend. And then we had Kent here for two games last weekend. We were supposed to have four, but a couple got washed out. But we had two games with them up at Farmers, which is which was great. So it was yeah one of our best sort of preparation coming into the tournament. Obviously, you're on home soil here. Uh, what what advantages do you think that gives you guys? I think like yesterday, it was we played a fair bit at Farmers and played a fair bit here as well. So it's nice to. Yeah, it's nice. The boys familiar with the surroundings, and I think the wickets sometimes can change a little bit. So sometimes it's an advantage, but other times you still have to think on your feet a little bit. But like yesterday, it was brilliant to play in front of all our mates and all our, the home crowd. That made a massive difference to us. So yeah, that obviously makes the boys feel feel a lot better. You, you mentioned yesterday uh, we're, we're now day, uh, one day into the tournament. You've played two games. You've won both games. Uh, could you talk to us a little bit about those performances? Yeah, we, I mean, we focused a lot on that Norway game, the first game, and you know we were happy, uh, really happy to get off to a good start with the bat. Um, we managed to get sort of aiming at looking at trying to get sort of that run rate as high as we can in the first six overs, and we were really happy to get get going. And then the boys that came in afterwards, John T, you know, Files, fantastic, um, you know, kept the rate going the whole game. So it was really good confidence booster to get a good batting performance in, and then we felt like we bowled and fielded well and took that into the Italy game again. So even though, you know, the Italians batted well, we're still happy with what we managed to keep them to. Um, and then really happy to get over the line. You know, we think in 2020, there's periods of the game that really go for you. And sometimes it can go a little bit in the other side's favor. So that's sort of that, it swung a bit. We had a really good start, then it, they come back really well. And then we're so pleased that John, uh, Steve Owen, uh, Corey managed to get us over the line. Cause there was a, lot, there was a bit of pressure on there. And, but we practiced that quite a lot. So. We had a lot of confidence in them to, to still finish it, even though it was 13 or 14 needed off and over. Um, and yeah, thrilled to bits that managed to do it. Mentioning John T, uh, he's someone that we actually filmed uh, last summer, uh, captaining the under-19 side. He, on that day, he got a century. Uh, maybe talk to us a little bit about how he's come into the side and how he's doing. Yeah, he, so he came in, he started in Malaysia in World League 5 in 2015, uh, 2014 last year. And he was always pushing, he came into the side before that when he was 14, 15, and he, but he's just class attitude, top that his fielding was unbelievable. So anytime he you know, his his attitude to training has been absolutely fantastic. So coming the side in Malaysia, I only had a couple of knocks there really, but it was, you know, really good finished a couple of games off, um, fielded out of his skin, outstanding, and then Singapore he really come into his own and then he's been away this winter, uh, working on his game over in the UK, I think with Sussex and yeah, he's come back and he's been his first two games have been he's been superb for us. So it's not just his batting that's important, his his fielding is unbelievable. You know, he adds uh adds fifteen, twenty runs in the, with his fielding. So yeah, he's been a great addition. Mentioning fielding, uh, this is something that is, is critical in modern cricket in the T twenty. Is this something that you as a team have been working hard on? You've got quite a kind of young side as well, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean it's uh it's a bit we probably enjoy, you know, that's a bit where you're together as a side the most often um, and we really enjoy being out we're lucky to have a group of boys and in the under 19s coming through as well that actually love just to chuck the ball around and get it in their hands and you know take good catches and stuff so but it's something we talked about back in November that we wanted to really make sure that we were red hot with and it's something that we can all practice all the time so actually you can come out on a night like this and just run about and take a few catches so yeah it's a big part of our game definitely. Obviously you've got quite a few games left um, is it hard though to not maybe have one eye on the grudge match between you and Guernsey or is it a grudge match or is it more of a friend a fr is it a friendly atmosphere talk to us a little bit about that. No nah, it's a great definitely grudge match yeah <laughs> it's like but to be fair though like they're, they're all pretty now that Europe is as it is you know Italy's a grudge match Denmark's will definitely want to win that one France want to win that one as well so it's we don't really have one eye on that just now but um you know, when we get there, we'll be dead keen to do well in that game. But like we are in all of them, we're just thinking about the Denmark game at the moment. Yeah. So, so the prize, is, uh, prize at stake here is uh, obviously competing in the T20 World Cup qualifiers. What would that mean for Jersey cricket if uh, you, you guys were to go on and uh, win this tournament? Uh, it mean loads. I mean, we've, we've felt like we've done well in the 2020s in the past, you know, and always been in the semi-finals and come close and then just narrowly lost out in the odd semi-final. But 
like yesterday was a good example. We're now starting to get over the line, and some of those games will get a bit closer. Um, so, I mean, it'd be a huge privilege to go and represent Europe in that tournament, and uh, the people here would be proud as, and the players would be proud as to go and represent Jersey in in in, in Europe. It'd be, mean everything. I think the boys are really fired up to do as well as we possibly can. Um, we're desperate to play with Kent and Holland. We felt lucky we got to the chance to play such good quality opposition and games. You know, Denmark, Italy, all the games in the in the 2020 are great quality, and we'd just love to go away and play as hard a games as possible really.